My name is Randy Miller. I'm the owner of All Right Home and Remodeling, family-run home improvement company that's been around since 1969, specializing in exterior remodeling and insulation as well. Currently in the situation as far as around here in the Milwaukee area, there has definitely been some major, major ice damming problems that have been going on. Now, there are three components that tie into an ice damming problem. Before I go into what those are, let me explain what an ice dam actually ends up looking like. If your home ends up having a lot of icicles that are coming down on the outside, if your gutters are completely filled with ice that are in them, here's a scenario that actually went on. The snow would be on the roof, but if you've got a heat source that is coming through to it, and I'm not talking about a natural heat source like the sun would end up being, but more so the heat source coming from inside the house that is leaching through into your attic and onto your roof to cause that to melt. And now, as it gets to the outer edge, where it's not in what was, would be referred to as the warm part of the house, but into the cold or the overhang portion of the house, now it has a tendency of freezing back up again. And one of the biggest components has, is the fact that the gutters are made of metal. Metal has a tendency of being colder, causing it to end up freezing up more and forcing it to back further up, potentially causing interior problems in your house. So the three things that need to be looked at, and if any of these are out of whack, potentially will be the cause of ice damming. One, lack of insulation or a light amount of insulation inside your attic space. We shoot for an R50 as far as insulation. So that's approximately 16, 17, 18 inches of insulation inside the attic. The air sealing is when I had mentioned about the heat loss coming through, it could be from areas of recessed lights. It could be uh, anything from a bathroom fans, or it could be drop sockets, which are the areas that are above your cabinets and the older homes that are dead airspace areas in there where it's completely open air causing cold and hot to end up mixing in there. Also, ventilation is vital. You need to make sure that you've got good intake ventilation, usually in the soffit, but it could be other sources, and as well in the top of your roof or on the roof itself, whether it's a ridge vent or canister vents or even gable end vents can end up being utilized as your exhaust venting. So it's important to keep an eye out. When you're looking at a roof that's got a good blanketing of snow and you see areas where it's actually got melting going on there, that means you got heat loss that's going on. So our recommendation is get a professional to come out, take a look at that. That's a good starting point. Usually we'll end up also recommending that you get an energy audit done. And what's kind of cool about the energy audit, it kind of takes science into the next level with your home and learning a little bit more about the heat loss that's coming through by using of an infrared camera, a blower door, and kind of getting a better handle of what's going on. We usually refer to an energy auditor as a home inspector specifically for the insulated value of your home. So, if you want it done right, call all right.